So um, I'm co-founder of Blamudi. We're building real estate classified portals across emerging markets with a very strong focus on Latin America and Southeast Asia. The big question around that is really whether we are able to replicate the success of a just presented in 24 in emerging markets, building businesses with uh, profit margins of 50 to 70 percent, building valuations around the multi-billion dollars. There's a couple of questions behind that. And one first question is really, is there actually the same problem that needs solving in those markets? Then if there is a problem that needs solving, is, it, how, is there a market and how big is that market? Then the third question is, what is the competitive environment around those markets? Given that there is a market, there must be competition uh, existent. And then how do we operate to actually outcompete? Now, the first question is extremely straightforward. Along the uh, property purchase process, there's really two key problems. The first one is transparency, and that is really the core problem that Classified solves. And the second problem is professionalism of the agents that work with the people that are searching for properties. That is really the problem that is only to an extent solved by Classifieds, and it's solved more by the transactional model, which we're already testing and eventually will certainly roll out also across markets. Now, there certainly is a market given that the problems are there. How big is the market? If you look at the joint opportunity of Lamudi, it's huge. Given that emerging markets, one of the key industries is always real estate. If you look at the transaction volume by 2020, you're close at the 3 trillion billion euro market. That trickles down to advertisement spend in real estate of close to 17 billion euros. That again, not even a 12% share, makes an online market share of um, online market of 2 billion. Taking only a 10% share of that gives you a business the size of, of a right move or of, of, of an immobilian scout. Now, why emerging market is not only for the case of uh, the market size or the, the opportunity to seize, but it's uh, even more so for the competitive environment. Now, we don't at attack any market where there is an established internet population and there is a dominant player. And established internet penetration, we now in this map uh, define as uh, more than 50% of the population being online and uh, in a minimum of one player being in the top 150 platforms on those. Everything in red, we do not touch. Everything in green is our form, core, core focus markets, which is a non-established internet uh, population and no dominant player in the market yet. The orange in between is the markets that we also uh, basically are, are taking for a later stage, which are still markets where dominance is to be built. Now, how do we build that dominance? And how we take a different approach than pretty much all the players around the world is we look at it from a, from a logic, we think it makes no sense to have an Imo Scout in one country, a Zillow in another country, and a right move in another country. Now, those markets are set, we cannot touch those. But nonetheless, it makes no sense to run different platforms with individual SEO, with individual business intelligence, with individual online marketing, while the key problem that is solved is really 95% the same in every market, and that is, the user looking for property for his new dream home. That is 95% being solved by the same platform. Now, the little tweaks that need to be done, that can be done in the future on one platform, changing the search, for instance, uh, on a country-by-country -country basis. But still, all the online marketing, the SEO, we are building on a level of sophistication no play in the emerging markets can closely match. While we work on best economies of scale and match this, with best local execution, where we have local teams on the ground doing the minor tweaks on what is the pricing here, wh how do we approach different um, client types there, etc. So it's really best execution together with best level of sophistication and supporting functions on top economies of scale. That trickles down into our KPIs, obviously, and our key KPIs is first building relevance in terms of the listings and, and, and the number of clients that we're working with. Then is uh, the demand side, so the users that are searching, and how does that trickle down to monetization? In terms of relevance, it's a very straightforward game. There's been no player in the world that has reached relevance as quickly as we did. There's not one market where we take longer than 12 months to actually reach that relevance, and we've far than reached it in all our markets to date. We grew to more than 700,000 listings within a very short time. We now don't just, just don't grow any further because we are actually focusing more and more on monetization, where we also um, take in a hit on, on listings if that is required. We work with more than 9,000 agents uh, at the same time. Same logic here as with the listings. We actually want to consider, we want to make sure we get a better quality of listings on the site while we monetize instead of just flushing the, the portal with additional listings, which most of the players actually do. 
Now our demand side is very much shifting towards mobile. Our focus is very much mobile. Already more than 40% of our leads are being generated mobile. Close to 20% of that the application, which also shows by the number of app installs, which increased since January by 330% that at the same time we managed to decrease the app user um, acquisition costs actually by 30%. Very strong focus on mobile uh, and very successful in doing that. Now, what's most important for us in the end is always profitability and we take a profit uh, view on, on our model in a very early stage. And we have actually uh, managed to, to make very good progress on that. We grew in monetization on a quarter of a quarter basis by more than 40%. Um, we have at the same time, and that is basically the reason for, for growing our uh, collections on a, on a monthly basis, grown our number of paying clients within nine months by 180%, while we already, despite the fact that we're just so short or close, uh, we just recently started monetization, already managed to increase our average revenue per paying unit by 10%. This obviously has very strong impact then on our economics, and we look at it um, at two different points, uh, two different perspectives. One is being on the left-hand side uh, at the total number of accounts where we include all the free accounts that are currently on the page, and then on the right-hand side on our unit economics where we look at only the number of uh, the paying clients. Within the last nine months, we reached, uh, we increased our profitability or we decreased our negative profit margin on the unit economic basis by 78%. We are close to already breaking even on the unit economics, which obviously shows also a very strong improvement on their overall profitability. And that includes all local costs, including the marketing side of it. So we're making very strong progress on monetization while we are continuing to build dominance across our markets. That shows most clearly in the Philippines, which is pretty much our front market, where also we focus the strongest on, where we built dominance across KPIs over 16 months. Now, after competitors have been in the market for several years, that holds true for both listings, SEO visibility, um, tra overall traffic, and accordingly also the monetization. We achieved that within 16 months and added to it through, our mer through an acquisition of the number three of the market, now having reached jointly around 2.x, 3x versus the second biggest player in that market. That is a story that we built in the Philippines that we're replicating in our additional markets. Now, to date, um, we went through the relevant stage as discussed. Uh, we are deep down into the quality, uh, focus on quality and improving our monetization around the model. We reached, uh, we, we, we um, got so far 25 million euros investment uh, of our investors being the joint ventures of Rocket Internet and uh, Uridu in, in, in uh, um, Asia and also Latin America, then Holtzbrink and Tengelmann. We're currently discussing an additional uh, double digit um, investment. But uh, at the same time, we're always looking for partners to grow our business further. We don't intend to build a 200 million business. We want to build a two, four, five, six billion dollar business. We have a huge opportunity. We, need to uh, we, we are looking for the right partners to, to seize that opportunity. Thank you very much.